Yo 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 what's shopping you welcome back to another video so today I'm going to be talking about how to butterfly click and aim with a little small mouse pad area or people with a lot of mouse pad area I'm basically just going to be talking about how to aim while butterfly clicking today and I'm really sorry for not making posting a lot of videos recently I've I've been busy with high school work but since I have a break for a week now I'll be uploading a little bit more All right, hopefully that worked. All right, so what you wanna do when you butterfly click, I'm not gonna talk about aim first, I'm gonna talk about how you're supposed to butterfly click. So a lot of people, when they first try it, they like grip it normally like this, and then they butterfly click like this. Well, if you could do this method, it's, it's the best way, so I, I highly recommend you do that. And don't worry about the beeping in the background. All right. But um, it's really hard to butterfly click like this, and you get finger locked when you do this. So I recommend lifting both your pinky and your middle finger, and I mean like this. This way your fingers don't finger lock as much, and it's really it doesn't require as strain and stress when butterfly clicking. So I highly recommend doing that way. Next, um, when you aim, uh, uh while butterfly clicking you want to use your palm to aim so what I mean by palm is like pushing your palm down on your mouse like this and then moving it like this you want to not use your fingers to aim as much as possible you want to use your palm to aim so when I jitter click I grip like this and I sometimes turn my wrist like this but uh, what you want to do is you want to keep your mouse facing forward as possible you never really want to turn your mouse like this like there wants to be as minimum movement as possible. So you wanna keep your mouse straight like this, and move it like this. So a really famous PVPer, Vers, actually aims like this. Like she just puts her finger down like this and aims like this. Like I don't know how she does it like this. My friend Techno also does it, but this way of aiming is better since there's little movement of the mouse. Like it's better than the way I do it. Like I turn my wrist a lot. Because if you turn your wrist and aim, you're going to get locked and your hand's going to be in a weird position. So it's not really good to do it like that. It's always best to keep your mouse forward and just moving it like this. So when you butterfly click, you want to do the same and you just want to butterfly click and then move it like that. So my DPI is set to 800. Let's talk about the sensitivity and my sensitivity is set to 26%. So basically, um... The area um, of your mouse pad, like your sensitivity, um, you want to be able to do a full 360 degrees rotation with your character with the amount of space you have. So I have this much space, so my character does a full 360 degrees when I go like this. So if you have a really small mouse pad like this one that I used to use, this doggy one, then you should be able to do a full 360 degrees when you go like this. So if you don't have, if you have a software to change your DPI, I highly recommend your deep to change your DPI so that you could do a full 360 degrees when you go like this. But if you don't have a software to change your DPI, just go to the settings, control, and change your sensitivity. Uh, I recommend um, increasing or decreasing your sensitivity by 5% each time. And as you get closer, you can maybe change it by like 2%, 1% to get more, uh, you know, into detail you know, with that. So yeah, basically you just want to change your DPI uh, to fit the space of your mouse pad. So if I have this, uh, I'll, still, I'll still do it like this, the same method of aiming. Except my DPI will be set higher so that I could, do a, so I could aim even with a small area. So you know, it's, it's better to have a bigger... Um, wider mouse pad, but even if you don't have one you can just change your DPI to fit your mouse pad area So it doesn't matter that much So that's about it. It's really simple So first thing you just want to use your palm to aim like this moving your mouse side to side up and down Diagonal always keep your mouse facing forward. You never want to turn it like this Never want to turn your wrist like this always keep it straight Use your palm to aim and then all your fingers are doing is put is butterfly clicking. All your thumb is doing is supporting. You do not 
all your finger string clicking. Just think about clicking with your fingers. And yep, that's about it. So now I'm gonna hop into Bed Wars while butterfly clicking. Hopefully I will win. So yep, hope you guys enjoy. Alright, we're in the next match. Um, last match didn't go as planned. And I forgot to mention, but this is also another very important thing. Whenever you're like doing a certain clicking method or you're just playing a game in general, you never want to tense your hand that much. Like finger locking, like even if you do it the way I do it, if you like tense your arms, wait, this is a fast rush. If you like tense your muscles a lot or just tense like your the part your hand, it's gonna. Oh, I thought that was clay. <laughs> it's gonna like lock finger lock. So I like when you're jerk clicking, butterfly clicking, drag clicking. Whenever you're doing any type of clicking, I highly recommend to like do it as lightly as possible. Oh, can we get his bed? Not in time though. Yeah, I'm just gonna wait here. The second he goes to the shop, I'm gonna get him. Yep. There we go. Goodbye, sir. Very sorry for your loss. Okay. But pink's going at them, so... Wow, I'm really annoyed that they burst like that. I'm really bad at that. I'm speed bridging, by the way. I used to be better, but... Oh, he's about to lose his bet. Okay. Oh, final. Assisted. He's gonna try to hit me. I'm just gonna go over. Gotta... Yeah, we got him. Uh, hopefully I can get the bet. Is this the right piece? Yes, it was. Very bad position. Yes, very bad position. Indeed. But it's okay because I got this guy. <laughs> oh, wow. I always forget to. What you say? I always forget to um W tap when I butterfly click. It's fine. And you're gone. Alright, if I butterfly click there, I probably will have lost. So sorry. Um Okay. There we go. Whew. That was a lot of work. Okay, hopefully I can finish this one off with butterfly clicking, because that's the whole point of the video. And then we're going to end the video there. Uh, I'm going to go up, actually. Oh, he's a noob. We got him. Let's go. GG. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed that and it helped you. So if you liked that video, please make sure to like, subscribe, and comment. I like responding to comments a lot. Bye-bye. So, See you guys. Bye-bye.